go to the auto or manual. And it had gotten bumped halfway. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm actually in the market right now for a, a nicer camera. I kind of have like a medium home gamer camera, you know. And I'm trying to find something. Welding, welding rakers and forging saw teeth here, and I just had a couple of them put up one on either side. Yeah. And it, uh, I got most of them up here, I guess. I don't know. Will do to help lubricate yeah, your uh, stone. stone. Keep it clean. Otherwise, it'll it'll load up and then it just. Yeah. So what I'm doing is I'm I'm basically bending the tooth back about a quarter of an inch yeah. off the point, and not not a real extreme angle. You really don't know how brittle these old saws are. How much, how much has been uh, the rust pitting has affected it. There's, you always have that chance of the tooth snapping off on these old ones, yeah. no matter what. It's, it just happens, and you can do the best you can, and it still happens. So it's like, oh. even on, on what looks like a brand new saw. Looks like about five to Four to five thousandths is all I put into it. Yeah. Which they're done there, but two. It's a pretty hard saw. It didn't take hammering as much as I thought it was going to. But it might be enough to work on trying to uh, get the set out of it. So I'll, I'll do three taps on this side. Right. See if I can get more set.
your set and that point sharp, you'll have good solid steel on both sides. No little serrations on that cutting edge. Yeah. Unless, unless you like a serrated knife. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it fits the saw though. Ah, uh, no, no, usually. It, uh, actually, if, if you file it with a uh, brand new coarse file, when you're putting it on, you can put like a serrated edge because your tooth gets, your file will chatter a little bit and it'll leave a, a, a kind of a serrated edge. And that works real good for white pine. I found that out by accident. <laughs> yeah. I was in a hurry one day and I... Uh, sharpen up a, a 520 7-footer for a uh, Western Canadian timber carnival that's uh, up in Port Alberni hmm. and uh, they won. A couple young college kids and then uh, the guy that was putting on the shelf he says, Whoa, who sharpened your saw for you? Oh, my dad. Oh, this boy. Whoa, he's got that figured out. What's his name? Yeah. So then, and then he contacted me to find out a little more about me. And, and uh, so the guy that does that up there is Al, Al Boyko. And he still does a lot of college competition saws. I don't do much anymore. I, I help a couple of young guys do it, sharpen, assist them that way, but not much. Okay. What do we got here? We got 10, 12, there's a 15. 14, 15, there's, there's a little more there. So usually if I get one that needs more, I'll mark it. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're gonna shoot for 12. A minimum of 12. Those are both eight. And then when I flip it over, and then I'll just hit those teeth only. Hit pretty hard in the middle. 